this gear. All right, I know it. I know it. Okay, we're back. We are back. We are back. All right, round two. All right, it, it <laughs> went out. Two. Session one went out on us. Craziness. So we're back in action. We're so live here we in go. Las Vegas on Radio That's right. Row. Radio Having Row. Having a great time right here on the Kelly Bay. Bay Show. Your home TV, Mandalay Bay. And I'm here with Gordy Gronkowski, everybody. Hey, check Woo! out my new... Uh, I know, I like that. Look at that. This Look is it. my new dumbbell. I, I Yes, I do work out. That's what it says. That's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious oh. as heck. That's so funny. So we were talking about, you know, did, did y'all all get along growing up? Look, it's five boys no, in their family. How do you think we're going to get along all the time? How do, too do, much testosterone. You it's know? craziness. <laughs> how many years are, are y'all separated? By? So we're pretty much all two years apart. And then wow. our youngest brother, Glenn, is uh, four years apart from Rob. Wow. So the way it worked was each brother always played on the other brother's team. Yes. In high school, oh my gosh. in college, in yeah. the NFL. Yeah. But Glenn was so much younger than Rob that they never played together. He never got to play with a brother. Oh. And then Glenn goes to the NFL and gets to win a Super Bowl with Rob. Yeah. So that was I think that worked awesome. out all right, Glenn. All <laughs> I right. think it was worth the wait. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so y'all are, you know, if you notice, he's got Gronk Fitness. Fitness on this is their brand this is your family brand oh yeah absolutely yeah so we're y'all always i mean you know look you're all athletes all professional athletes which is very rare i'm sorry in itself it is but um was so was fitness always growing up something really important to y'all um you know what fitness helped us get to where we are for sure yeah you know our our parents started uh gg fitness and Gronk fitness actually 33 years ago we're one of the largest fitness distributors we design fitness centers and we help people live a healthier lifestyle, you know, oh, which is amazing. That. Um, but that really helped us get to where we are with pro sports and, yeah. you know, giving back and, you know, our charity and foundation stuff all comes around health and fitness, you know. So, I, I love that. Yeah, that's where it started, though. It's been 33 years. Look and, at that. Uh, I deck out gyms for a living. So if you need fitness equipment, no. hit me up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to talk about how people can contact you later. So so tell us a little bit about what, um, what do you think the best thing about having this Gronk Fitness business has been. I mean, because you're everywhere. You're yeah. in charge of expansion. Um, you know what? The best thing for me is I have, I was at a Boston Celtics game the other day. Yeah. And I got a text message and I was like, this girl wants to meet you. So I walked over there. I'm like, sure, I'll go say hi. And, yeah. You know, just had a Hello. conversation. She goes, what you do? Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. But it wasn't like that. <laughs> but usually it is. <laughs> Um, but she goes, I just wanted to thank you for doing our fitness center um, at Noble, Maine, way up in Maine. No one goes up there. We redid the gym. We knocked the walls and we put turf in. It was unbelievable. Absolutely beautiful. She's like, I've always been intimidated. I never wanted to go in there and work out. And now, all, you know, PE classes and sports teams are all going in there. She said it changed her life mentally and physically. Yeah. It just made me feel amazing. Yeah. So that's probably the, the most fulfilling thing. Um, for you know what we do in the fitness space, it's See, help people live a better lifestyle. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> That's a really big deal that somebody took the time to tell you thank you. Yeah. Because you're changing lives. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, that's amazing. So, do you 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 all redid their gym? Do you build new ones too? Tell yeah, us a little absolutely. Bit how that works. So we build new gyms from beginning to completion, or yeah. we'll refresh it. We'll get rid of all the old equipment, oh my replace gosh. it with all the new equipment. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about these fun things okay, that you also it. have because that's really cool. <laughs> Actually, this is this is just a dumbbell way that I need to be part of this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna find a way to be part of this company. I, I'm not sure how yet, but this is what my brother Chris has ice shaker. I might have to, you know, be his competitor and come out with a dumbbell for Gronk Fitness. I think you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. So we have so many cool things going on this weekend. Um, Gronk Beach is the biggest one tomorrow. We're the official day party of the Super Bowl. No. Uh, pretty much almost sold out. Encore Beach Club. We have so many amazing celebrity and guests. Yeah. They don't have to come, and they do. And it's like special for us brothers because we haven't really done Christmas or Easter since high school because we've been playing pro sports yeah. and been so busy. It's so Gronk Beach brings all five brothers together. We have Afrojack Dante, um, DJ Re, and our, our boys, Flow Rider, my dad's favorite. Love it. You, when Flow Rider low, plays, low, 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 low. low, low. low. <laughs> Kelly Williams, baby, <laughs> she's going crazy right now. We're going to see her on stage with Papa Gronk and Flow Rider right. tomorrow. That's right. I love it. So that's what I'm going to ask you. You know, y'all are, y'all are a very giving family. You know, you're very kind. Your, your people know y'all as um, not just in the, the sports world and being kind of crazy and fun, the fun family, <laughs> but y'all are a giving family, and that's important to all of you. 
Yeah, you know? absolutely. We have our own Grind Nation New Foundation. Yeah. Um, we just donated $1.2 million to uh, build playgrounds in Boston. Uh, we visit amazing. kids at different high schools. You know, it's a team effort. You know, yeah. all my brothers are amazing at giving back. Yeah. I actually won uh, in the minor leagues um, the Friend Reardon Award, which was my community service oh my based gosh. on by all the owners in the league. Wow. That was a very special moment for me. Um, wow. You know, it, it, it goes above and beyond sports. You know, it and does. When you can influence and inspire kids, it's one of the warmest feelings um, you can give to someone. So. Completely agree with you. What do, what do you think in your life? Uh, being as successful as you have been and having this amazing family. What do you think all of this, the sports and growing up with my brothers, has really prepared you for and taught you about yourself? Um, it's really taught me like teamwork yeah. and giving back. You know, yeah. I mean, truly without each other, you know, we, we all lean on each other and sometimes yeah. tough situations and good situations. But, you know, it's, it's nice to have someone who has your back, you know? Absolutely. And so that, that's what's cool about us giving back now is, you know, we knew what it took to get where we are today, and now we can help other kids, you know, try to get to where they want. Absolutely. I really love it. Y'all are, are, are very inspirational and, and pretty, really great role models for kids to look up to with your work ethic and your fun and your not scared to laugh at yourself. I mean, there's this, your, your family has this really great reputation, which is, you know, not a lot of sports people, they take themselves seriously. And so it's nice. Yeah. You know, it's really nice. Are you, have y'all stayed really, y'all really stayed close, haven't you? You know, you try your best to, you know, as yeah. you get older, you know, the brothers are having kids. One yeah. has five kids already. So they're trying to beat us. They, our five. brother, Dan. Yeah. Chris has four kids. So wow. like, we're the Funkles. We're, you yeah. know, <laughs> exactly. we're the fun uncles, right? <laughs> take care of yes. our nephews and nieces. And, I mean, I can't even take care of myself, so I don't know how I'm going to start taking care of kids yet. So once I figure that out, then maybe I can have some kids. Exactly. But I don't know how my brothers do it. I already have nine nephews and nieces. I, I might be good already. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so what do you? What is your goal for Bronx Fitness in the next five to ten years? What do you? What do you want to see it do? Yeah, you know what? I mean, I, we would like to just continue to organically grow. Yeah. Uh, we came out with our own Bronx Fitness. Um, line of equipment this, oh, that, yeah, oh my, in the I past, yeah, you, in the past awesome. six weeks. So wow. we have the spike logo on all our medicine balls and wall balls and kettlebells. And that. so we're making our own fitness equipment to go with everything else we're selling. Um, so that that's a huge step for us, you know, and then continue to grow on social media and YouTube and <laughs> um, whether it's giving back different workouts or helping yeah. people with injuries or inspiring them through fitness, you know, that's what we want to do and uh, organically, you know, bring in an inside team that can help us uh, give us some more support, which is great. I I love that. Um, real quick, a yeah. fun question. Right, here we go. Okay. Uh, it's going to be interesting. So it, it is. Uh, if we looked in your fridge right now, what would we find? All right, so my fridge or my mom's fridge? Because I was well, just at her place yeah. this, this past week. Your fridge. <laughs> You can tell, um, you know, you say your fridge first and then tell us what's All right, in your so my, my fridge is really simple right now. I, I travel so much, <laughs> so literally I have Nutri meals. Uh, my friend owns a company, Nutri, wow. in Boston. Yeah. And what I do there is literally he just they make the meals for you for the week. Yeah, it's so awesome. it's kind of it makes yeah. it easier for me. You Healthy cheat. meals for the week. Exactly. I, cheat. <laughs> I, I have my Nutri meals. I get home on Sunday. They're at oh, my door. I'm happy for the week. Good for you. Um, now, Mama Gronk's fridge, I was just there this week. And I can't say fridge, it's fridges. Yeah. Fridges yeah, crazy. and freezers. Crazy. Um, all her favorite meals are still in there. I, she she cooks as if we still live in the house. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. that. I think though, moms, when you have that many kids and especially boys, you don't stop cooking like that. Yeah. Because you never know, know. when they're going to I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And you're not a mom. So you don't, you know, you don't that way. That's hilarious. Um, okay. So I want to, I want to ask you, what advice would you give? Um, young men who are looking to, you know, pursue career in either athletics or business or, or something like yeah. that. What, what good piece of advice would you give to them? That's a great question. Um, I think the one thing I learned um, in pro sports and business is always try to control the controllables. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't worry about what might happen, but control what you can do and the outcome will come out however it comes out absolutely you know what i mean so yes that's especially in a sport or a business you know like baseball if i work hard and i'm there early good things are going to happen but you know i can control that i control being there early i can control staying after but exactly you know if if i'm not doing any of that you better right away expect that the outcome's not going to be very good right? exactly so do, do the best you can control your controllables you know and I, the best thing will happen for you i really like that because i think that's where it gets rid of a lot of anxiety. If you know that you can only control what you can control, 
you're a lot happier. Yeah. You know? I still went to the club last night and I consoled myself by, <laughs> you know, going to the gym this morning. Yeah, at exactly. The, at the Wynn Casino. That's I made right. it. I was still there. Four and hours of sleep. All right. I'm good. That's right. And he even kept his sunglasses on. So I did. You I have to keep these on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pit Viper. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Pit Vipers, for these shades. You're saving me all week in That's Las right. Vegas at the Super Bowl. <laughs> those are great-looking glasses, actually. So I love that for you, Pit Viper. Thank I you. like that. I like that. Really quickly, what events do you have planned besides y'all your big family event tomorrow? What, what's happening? Oh, this we got a lot going on. I can't believe it's only halfway through. I feel like I did a years of activities already, and it's yeah, only I love that. Thursday. Yeah. Um, so that we have an amazing event tonight with FanDuel. Uh, as we know, most people know, our brother is, you know, kicking for the kick of destiny. Yes, I don't know if he's going to kick it lefty or righty this year. Oh, gosh. Um, I would say <laughs> I, I think he's going to make it this year, though. I do, too. I know. But I, I he do. has a size 16 foot. I tried kicking. Yes. It's very difficult. Yeah. You know? So we have the fan duel event tonight. Okay. We got Calvin Harris performing uh, right after Calvin. We're going to the Pepsi party. We got a big celeb event there. That's going to be great. Back to Calvin Harris, and then we have Shaq's Fun House at the Tap It Off tonight till four in the morning, um, which is seven o'clock Eastern on the East Coast. So please don't call me tomorrow morning until please don't at least Gronk Beach starts, <laughs> which is three o'clock Eastern, because I will be there for sure on stage. So. Okay, is the Greek a uh, Gronk Beach thing uh, open to the public? Yeah, I don't know how many tickets are left. Okay, but, but people can need to find we out. If play, they we go. put Kelly Williams on the list. All right. <laughs> See, All right. thank you. Thank With those you, type Gordy. of red shades, thank you, she's Gordy. already invited. <laughs> I love it. I appreciate it. Okay, well, first of all, I cannot thank you enough for taking time. I know you're busy no and tired. but I I'm not tired. You. I'm just warming up. All right? I don't get tired. I stay hyped. You know all right? Just ask Mojo Rally. He doesn't stay hyped like me anymore. We call him Dean Mutati now. He's an old Dean. All right, Mojo Rally, WWE superstar. No more Mojo Rally. Dean. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. You, Thank you are for having awesome me. as heck. And uh, okay, really quickly, how can we? It's still going. Okay, do you have really cute girl stuff in Gronk Fitness too? Absolutely. Because I'm gonna we go do. get me some. Yeah, GronkFitness.com. Like we have some amazing swag. Okay, awesome. Um, you know, go on there, check it out. Yeah. It's awesome. It's really good. Okay, here. we will. So so just GronkFitness.com. Y'all go because it's amazing. Look how cute this stuff is. I love the logo. Look how cute I am right now. Look how After cute two days is. of being hungover. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Guys, stay We're tuned. We're out of control. <laughs> Kelly and I together. Bad news. I grog beach tomorrow. Yeah, this is uh, this is hilarious. This is awesome. Um, thank you so much, Gordy. You are amazing. Thanks for having love, me on the show. Love get let my viewers get to hear your story and, and get to meet you even more and go go uh, buy some of this stuff. And if you need a gym. Redone, that's what their family does. That is very cool. Look at that. He's already working these heavy out. 24 ounce dumbbells. He's already working out 24 ounce. <laughs> exactly. That's really good. That was awesome. You can watch more amazing interviews right here on the Kelly Williams Show in your home TV because we are live from Las Vegas. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, with this guy. Gordy Gronkowski, everybody. Thanks for having me, Kelly. Thanks so much. See Have a great Grand day. Beast. See y'all. Yeah, head to his uh, bit tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.